Garmin have just recently released a new firmware update for the now four-year-old Edge 520 cycling computer. Now I know a lot of people still use these and a lot of people have used them for a few years. So the battery life you're getting out of these now may not quite be up there at the 15 hours that these things originally had. Now the update to version firmware 13 does have a significant list of features, but one important one was the reporting of the battery life on these, especially when the batteries are getting a little older. So the full spec sheet of the update to version 13 is as follows. It's now rolled out to 100% of users, so Garmin do a phase rollout, so it should be there with your updates next time you check. So the list here is updated battery capacity model to better reflect the remaining battery life of older batteries. Because if you're out riding with this and it says 50% and it really doesn't have 50% and your whole ride doesn't go to Strava, yeah, you know that feeling, that really sucks. The next one is added support for 12 speed shifting sensors for 12 speed group sets. Fixed data field issues for shifting systems with no front derailleur, so the one by fans out there. Sensor update details for Vector3 power meters, uh, fixed issues with some Connect IQ apps, and added a filter to eliminate unrealistic power spikes coming from the sensor. I'm guessing that would be a power sensor. Okay, let's get this thing booted up. I'll check what firmware is on here, and then we'll do the update. Okay, first up, we'll check what version of the firmware we have on the 520 here. I'll show you how to do that, just in case you wanna see what's on there at the moment and how far you are off if you haven't done an update in a while. Okay, first thing we want is menu, up to settings, up again to system, up again to about. Yeah, I've used this for a few years, so I'm quite familiar with how it all works. What we can see here is software version, oh, I can't get to it on the menu, but it is 12.93. So I do need the update on this. And according to this latest boot up here, there are no software updates available. There are two ways to do updates for firmware on this unit. You can use the Garmin Connect app on your phone. And once these two things are paired correctly, you'll load Garmin Connect, make sure it's open. That will then pull down the latest firmware and then transfer it over here. And the next time you boot up, you will see there's a new firmware update ready to install here. That's how it happens via magic. It probably has already happened to you a few times before. You turn the head unit on and it says new firmware. It's come from the app over here onto your phone. The second way to do it is to go old school and that's via a micro USB cable. Okay, with that plugged in and all synced up, we'll double click the device here and have a look at what's in the update queue. So it says here we're up to date with version 13, but it's only queued up, it hasn't updated it yet. If I hit sync on that. Okay, we're up to date, sync complete, sync just now. You're up to date version 13. That hasn't installed the firmware on that unit though, it's only put the file in place for the installation to happen on next boot. Okay, it thinks it's all good. So let's get that done. We unplug. And there we have it. So version 13 is there to install. We hit install now. Okay, good to go. Installed. We'll just double check that. Going to the menu, settings up to the bottom, up and then bottom again, about software version 13.00. We are good to go. Okay, there it is, lucky version 13 of the firmware loaded onto my Edge 520 device. If you're a 520 user, let us know how your battery life is going below in the comments. Mine's still not too bad, but definitely get that new firmware installed. Okay, happy riding, we'll see you soon.